Bruh, it's been almost 10 years since your boys reviewed a phone posit on this channel. Well, today we have the early review of the upcoming Nike Phone Posit 1 Metallic Red. What's going on, man? Today we have the Metallic Red Foam Posit 1 set to release on July 6th for a retail price point of $240. And, bruh, as I stated, it's been almost 10 years. And also, what's crazy is this is the second Foam Posit I've ever reviewed on this channel. Now, I've shown foams. I've picked up foams, I've bought foams later after releases, but doing a review, getting a hands-on review of an actual foam is something I haven't done yet. It's kind of crazy, I know. I actually went and looked, and I'm gonna have to double check and double look because I feel like I've reviewed other phone posits, but I guess I could have been wrong. I mean, I had the pennies recently, there was the gray joints I shown recently, the black ones. There's been a couple of phones that released this year alone, but I have not done the whole on foot and all the above review. This is the actual box it comes in, typical blacked out Nike box, and on here it says, phone posit one, varsity red slash white black size eight and a half, and they fit like your typical foam posits, which is usually a little bit more snug than your average shoe. So these are eight and a half. You could go nine, I could go nine, but I did like the snug fit on this, so I'm okay with the decision I made running with these in a size eight and a half. But some of y'all might not. They do have a more snug fit, and as far as snug, I mean on the length, as far as cushioning with inside the shoe. It's kind of shorter on the shoe. Like my feet kind of touch a little bit of the edge on this shoe when rocking it. The foam posit has been around since 1997. This actual colorway originally released back in 2012 and then retroed in 2017 and now being brought back in 2023. Metallic out, real nice shine to it as well. And this is definitely a foam that I'm going to add to the arsenal. You have the tinted out, bottom out blue on the bottom here, which, you know, it is what it is now. Blue tint is the way to go. Now, when these originally released back in 2012, they probably had a regular clear bottom. And then in 2017, the blue tint, which has become the norm now, which also helps delay a little bit of the process of the yellowing, which we've seen happen on these type of shoes. So, you know, uh, it's, it is what it is. The leather on here is in a tumbled leather. Rumpel still skin nutsack material, however, it's pleather. It's even stated here on the tag, upper contains synthetic leather. So you see that tag right there. Just know that you're dealing with some synthetic leather on this shoe. You have the Nike Air on the inside as well, the Penny Scent logo on the back. If you guys do or do not know that the Foam Posit was a shoe for Penny Hardaway. Originally released, like I stated, back in 1997. It was a shoe that was originally made for Scottie Pippen. And then later it didn't happen and it went to Penny himself, the Penny Scent logo on the front tongue as well as on the back. That, I think, let me make sure I show it again. Penny Scent right there. And then various colorways have came out, some of the OGs being like the Eggplant, the Royals that of course matched the Orlando Magic. Colors like that all whited out, ones that recently released were a PE of his that got brought out to the general public now. And the Metallic Red being in 2012, a shoe that, you know, didn't, I, honestly, when I first thought, I was like, maybe this released when he was on the Heat, but he played on the Heat way after, so it has nothing to do with the Heat whatsoever. Now, they wanna choose a colorway that pays homage to a team that he once played on or event he once went to. For this one, I don't even know if that's the case, but it could be a little bit because the Heat do have that metallic red in their jerseys. There's that all red Heat jersey colorway, and there's the black one that has the red, and it does have a little, you know, red satin shine to it, so correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm right, let me know. I don't know, maybe that's probably why they chose this color, but they chose in hundreds of other metallic colorways on foams as well. Now the Foam Posit 1 has no swoosh and the Foam Posit Pro does have the Nike swoosh. The Foam Posit Pro usually retails for $250, where the Foam Posit 1 was going for around $225, then later on $230, and now we're at $240. So I'm kind of curious to where the Pro is gonna go, if it's gonna stay at the $250, or if they're gonna raise that up, because we haven't really seen a Pro release in a very, very good amount of time. My last time I checked, I can't think at least off the top of my head the last Pro that's released, so yeah, tweet your song. That's actually the other phone posit I own downstairs, which the Yeezy, I believe it's a Yeezy phone posit Pro. It's called the Yeezy colorway, but it's a phone posit Pro. It has the swoosh on it. I wanna lean towards it and say yes. This is one that I am keeping. I think these should do fairly well in my opinion as far as how they will do. 
Um, currently, the market is around retail. Let me see how much they're going on in the aftermarket. So right now, I'm seeing the price being around 230 to 240. It's weird. On StockX, it says that it's 230, but what I'm hearing from you know the stores is that the shoe is going to be going for 240. So be on the 240 side because I mean StockX is a resale site. I wouldn't take their number over what a sneaker news is saying the retail prices are going to be. But um, they're going for around retail. After fees, you'll be paying even more though on something like StockX. So I think that these will do fairly well and over time sell it. I don't see these hitting the outlets. I don't see these hit selling for below retail. I, this particular pair, I, I just don't. Soul Play has a couple of pairs. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be first come first serve. But for the most part, I think these will sell out within that week, which is next week, next Thursday. It's not on the weekend either. So keep that in mind as well, that these are a midweek or you know near the end of the week weekday release which is a little different you know we've been seeing more and more of that lately but yeah this is a personal pickup for me i'm gonna i'm gonna add this to my phone posit collection which is very scarce now i used to have a lot not as much now i'm gonna add this one because it's a little old school to me and you know it's a it's a good one I, I want some some pearls to drop some royals to drop some eggplants to drop but i'm gonna take this for now for what it is and i'm gonna make it you know pop panties drop non stop carbon fiber real nice and dandy also on the outsole as well and on the inside. Foam posits are meant to actually foam and form to your foot. The foam, it, when it heats up from you playing more and more, the foam itself kind of molds on to your foot. That's the technology that's behind the foam posit itself and one of the reasons why the shoe is so expensive. So it's meant to be put in, you wear it, you wear it, and as you're playing, you know, your feet are getting hot from the friction and all the kinetic energy. The foam material, as you can see, is very bendable as well. Well, over time, not like melt, but form around your actual feet and give you a really good placement within the shoe. The shoe's technology itself was way ahead of its time in 1997. It's still a material that can be utilized and used now in basketball and is really well made and really well built out for current playing. But the 240 dollars $50 price point is just what kind of breaks the bank with Nike and until they can get this source at a lower rate, they kind of backed off from, you know, using foam material and went with polyurethanes and all sorts of other things out there. So, you know, to each its own. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm gonna end you guys and girls off with the on-foot review and let me know, are you copping these or not? <laughs>